Kan Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. The Bahamas to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth for sincerity. This is um, this is just another one to show you that we truly um, need to get the hell out of here, man. This place needs to be destroyed. Esau needs to be destroyed. A righteous kingdom needs to be established upon this earth. This is um, this is truly sickening, but also truly uh, depicting the confusion that is being sown on this earth, man. And we're going to filter the whole situation about how the Most High views this and how people may view it, how people might say things like, if a person wants to do this, let that person do it. We're going to filter and show you how the Most High views it and how the Heavenly Father views your mind, how He views you if you justify the things that is taking place on this earth today. So check this out. <laughs> Everybody needs a bottle in the morning, but since babies can't drink coffee, I have my juice. Insane. Yay, Handy Manny is on. It's my favorite show. Yeah. <laughs> I like coloring because it's just relaxing to color stuff in, and you don't really have to follow the rules because you can color it whatever you want. <laughs> An adult baby is somebody who enjoys dressing up and acting like a baby and it could be as young as you know you want to be a six month old or you can go up to two or three years old. It's whatever that feels right for you. I associate most with being two years old because I think it's the best of both worlds. You're young enough to still be able to use a crib and a bottle and diapers and all that stuff, but you're also still old enough that you can get around on your own and talk and tell people what you want. Ah, refreshing. You want a drink? Not very many adult babies get a chance to have AB furniture and I'm definitely one of the few. This is my custom made crib. Took me about a week to build it and a couple days to paint it. It's my favorite piece of adult baby furniture to play with. Well I've got my diaper changing materials nice and close. I've got my puppy dog mobile. I've got my lion guard bed sheets and I've got my ocean wonders aquarium and then I got my my cat here keeping my bed warm. Some people will ask do I do I actually use the diapers? And yes, I use the diapers. Uh, being incontinent, you're gonna be in diapers and these are my usual ones. But when I'm role playing, I love wearing my Tykables. These things are just adorable. The animals, good absorbency, so you're, you stay nice and dry while you're out playing. When I have to make a number two, it's in the toilet and no I don't sit in a wet diaper all day long but of course I've got mine on I'm staying dry some of my favorite adult baby activities would be uh, playing with my my uh, Duplo Legos it's relaxing to play with with the Legos I can forget about what's going on and pretend I'm a kid again and have fun you can build anything you're, you can imagine. And if you don't like it anymore, you can take it apart and build something else. It's a spacecraft. It could take off. I like playing with my activity book and drawing and coloring. And I sometimes stay in the lines. It depends what I'm doing. If I want to be a toddler, then I switch to my other hand. <laughs> it's not so good. <laughs> I like lots of colors, but I like green the best. It's like the same color as grass and trees. I love climbing trees, they're fun. A lot of people when they first meet me or hear about me online, they assume that I'm an adult baby all day long. That's all I do is lay in my crib and 
the reality is I do it about an hour or two in the morning and about an hour in the evening. The rest of the day, I'm like everybody else. <laughs> For me, getting into a, being an adult baby is kind of a complicated subject. I got into it for two reasons. The first was because I started wetting the bed when I was 13, and the diapers were a way to keep it dry. But I also got into it around the same time even more as a way to cope with the child abuse that was going on. For me, with the diapers, it just kind of became that safeness. And it's not sexual. It's all about just the safeness of being a child again. It was as a baby, you're safe and protected, you're loved. And that became what they meant for me. You know, everything is very friendly and, and safe. And it's just about being that two-year-old. If you've enjoyed this video, bro. please subscribe to the... Bro, 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 bro. This is, um... I'm lost for words, man. This is, this is, this is truly Babylon. This is confusion. This is insane. And there's so many, there's so many questions running in my mind. Like, how, how does his parents view this? How do, how do the people, um... Because most likely he says he does this a couple of hours uh, in the morning. So most likely he might go to work. If he has friends, how do his friends... This is, this is... I don't know, man. Boy. This is... Um, this, is this is insane. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just to live by his faith. When you when you observe the nation of Edom, they're proud, but the the spirit that is inside of them is not is not a is not a righteous it is not a righteous mind, you know. When you're moved and um, convinced convinced to do these type of things, there's truly something wrong with you with your with your mind. Mentally, there's something truly, um, you know, truly truly fucked up but it's being explained like he was he be, he was a victim you know a person became a victim victimized by whatever it was that happened in his childhood but these these type of things are being normalized in this wicked empire man like a person can just identify him or herself in whatever way he or she wants to identify him or herself there's no, there's no uh, um, diagnosing, you know, you see the person already mentions that he went to something. There's no treatment being given or counsel concerning what that person went through. So he's trying to solve or find a way in, in dealing with what was happened in the past and still uh, has an impact on uh, the mind of a person in this present time. And this is this is the way how uh, he believes and thinks that that it's the right way of dealing with it. And the crazy part is, this society, the system, the government will justify it and say and and cheer it and encourage this type of behavior. If he wants to do this, let him do this. If it, this makes him feel good, let him do this. Who are you to judge? Live and let live. That spirit is being pushed upon the earth. So there's a promotion of. Uh, uh, just to do as thou will. Just do whatever you think and feel that is right and let nobody uh, uh, open up their mouth or speak and, 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 and say what they think or, or let's say filter it with what is written in the Bible. The book of Isaiah chapter 19 verse 14 The Lord had mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. So there's a perverse, a perverse spirit right now being pushed all over the globe and it's causing people to identify themselves as a dog, as a cat. You know, an adult man can identify himself as an as a, as a, as a, as a eight-year-old uh, a girl, which allows him to go into the girl's uh, 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 bathroom. You know, th this, is, this is the world we're living in today, man. And if you open up your mouth, you're being, you're being deemed as, as X-phobic, 
a, a, a mophobic, a transphobic, you know, transphobic or whatever, whatever term that will be used against you for mentioning uh, uh, how the Heavenly Father views is how, how the Heavenly Father views and deems these things according to the Bible. Anybody that has a different mind, which will not correlate with what people do and believe and think is acceptable, they all being, they all will be demonized. You know, they all will be looked upon. They will be, they will be carnally judged according to the standards of this world. So the book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 8, A man shall be commended according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. When you look at this, this is a very perverse mind. You see if an adult man, big as hell, sitting there in his diaper and then it it it's so cringe. You 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 when you look at this, you you're continually cringing and there's continually something going through your mind like this this dude is is it, this is not right. You look, you look at this and you understand like it ain't right. There's no there's no justification of doing this and thinking like, yeah, but you wanna be innocent and it's thinking back at you know. When you look back like that I had it last time, to a certain degree that the nostalgia like going back to as a child because a child has a life that is careless. Last time I was just sitting and I had the song, I had this song in my mind. Which is the song from uh, from a video game from uh, from Sonic, the Green the Green Hill Zone team, because back in the days when we was youngster, you know, uh, I believe when we were around ten, I had this song in my mind. <laughs> But this is Sonic, and Sonic is man, bro. Sonic is dope. Even until this very same day, you have movies. You still have video games. I was like, damn, those video games playing Mortal Kombat, wake up, waking up late at night when everybody is sleeping, sneaking downstairs, turning on the Sega and start playing Mortal Kombat continually. Pop, 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 pop. There's nostalgia. But that is a that is an understandable uh, a nostalgia. But when you have a mind like this, come on, man, this is in, this is insane. When you have a mind to go back to a time when you was walking around in diapers, and you wanna you wanna you wanna relive the the walking around and sitting and pissing and and that's that is that is not that is that is a mental a mental illness, man. That is truly a mental illness, man. You know? So when you see those things, the most, the most of the people are going to have a cringe mind like, what the hell is wrong with this dude? What the hell is wrong with him? Do you really think that this dude can uh, uh, openly everywhere where he comes say like what he does and that people will not look sideways towards him like, are you sick? You need help. You need you need a psychiatrist. They people will say you need you need medication because this is not right, man. It ain't right. But Babylon makes it seem acceptable and right. Just do whatever you want. If it feels right, just do it. You know, the Book of Matthew chapter fifteen, verse eighteen. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart, which is your mind, proceed evil thoughts, murderers, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witnesses, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. Yeah, because the Lord, the Lord spoke in parables. And a lot of people don't understand the parables, the sayings of the Lord. You see? So... <coughs> That bit comes out of your mouth is what is what actually defiles a person, you know. There's a saying that um, where it hart full van is, 
Daar loopt, daar loopt het mond van over. Of de, daar, zit, daar zit Bart. Let me see. Waar het hart vol van is, loopt de mond van oven. Let me see how you say it in English. Yeah, but that's not... Let me see. I wanna... I'm looking for the English... Um, literally translated it would be what fills the heart will flow over from the mouth or will, will order will come out of your mouth <coughs> which i believe also was mentioned in this in this first um boom i believe it also said it here right no it's not here but Okay, it's not here, but that that's that's um that's the saying, like that which is in your mind, that is what comes out of your mouth. And the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So the heart is deceitfully, you know, the your mind. By your mind you can you can look, think and justify things that are completely wrong. So you need guidance. The scripture lets you know you need righteous guidance. If you don't get the righteous guidance, you will be guided by the wrong spirits. You know, for example, by a perverse spirit. A person goes to certain things, being traumatized, doesn't get the right, the right uh, uh, help in, in uh, uh, um, how you say it, processing the thing that happened uh, with this person is going to cause for entities to enter inside of somebody and that is the case you know entities have entered <clears throat> and they're running bug wild and the system the system is not occupied in uh, healing people from from these type of things the system is justifying it so the system is teaching people that the allowing or the entering from these type of spirits, these preferred spirits, these entities to enter inside of you and that cause you to, to, to feel and to think and to do certain things which is totally off. These the system is teaching the people that it's acceptable. So the book of Second Peter chapter two, verse twelve, but these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. You see, so, but from their perspective, they might look and deem anybody that is showing them and explaining unto them as if the thing, but we would say as, as being hate, you know, but it's not hate. The Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father says also towards his people, mainly towards his people. Isaiah 58, show them their iniquity, show them the wrongs that they do in the eyes of the Most High and cause them to separate from the ways of this world. The book of Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1 Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions, their sins and the house of Jacob their sins. You see the, the breaking of the Heavenly Father's commandments. So when we, when we mention things, we explain things all based on the Bible. That's where it's all about. You know, all these videos that we make are all educational, uh, 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 for educational purpose based on what is written in the Bible. You know? So if people do these things, it is their decision, but it's our duty to point out how the Most High views it and what the Heavenly Father requires from, from, uh, uh, from His people, from the people of the Lord to do. We explain why people do these things and what causes these things to happen. You know, we're giving, we're giving everybody understanding about why these things take place and how the Heavenly Father views, it, views this and why the Heavenly Father is going to destroy this wicked empire. Because this wicked empire is normalizing and justifying things that are being deemed as abominable in the eyes of the Most High. And shall receive the reward of his unrighteousness as they count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are blemish, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. So you have all type of spirits, man, all type of spirits going up against the Most High. They got joy, the carnival, uh, uh, Bacchus debauchery, rioting spirit, the lawless, do as thou will, 
a fornication, promiscuous spirit, uh, 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 um, the whoremonger, a pimping spirit, uh, uh, um, an unstable spirit. You know, all, all these things that is being pushed, the whole, the whole movement of the alphabet rainbow collision, those are all movements and all conducts and mindsets which are being influenced by entities. And the system uh, portrays it in a way that is acceptable and they need to be respected and they need to be accepted. You know, it says having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls. So they entice people. You know, people that are not stable, that are not rooted in the guidance of the Heavenly Father, they fall victim onto these things. And there are a lot of predators, there are a lot of, there are a lot of minds that receive money to normalize and to push this frequency, these, these entities, this mindset, this confusion towards people. They get paid to prefer it and to, to, to lead people towards destruction. It says, beguiling unstable souls, a heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children. They curse children, man. It says, who have forsaken the right way. They have forsaken the way of the Most High and are gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Bas Basor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. This is actually a beautiful point to, to finish it in this chapter. But the thing that you see taking place is they're normalizing. They're normalizing all these things, man. Any, any ludicrous, insane thing that you might see and hear about in this, in this wicked empire is being justified, is being normalized. And you have, no, you have no right to open up your mouth. If you open up your mouth, you will be deemed uh, 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 wrong, you know, because everybody needs to accept and respect. But, and then they say you have the freedom of religion, the freedom of opinion, but when you utter your when you utter your opinion, which might not be in line with what they do or what they think that is right, now you are being deemed as hateful. Then where 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 is the freedom of religion and the freedom of opinion? So there is only a freedom of a religion and a freedom of opinion if it is in line with what the government wants you to believe and to feel and to think and to deem respectable and acceptable. But to offend what is written in the Bible or to, get, to go against the Most High, that is not important, you know? And that is what we can see crystal clear in this, in this, in this wicked empire. And that's why we understand this is an antichrist system. It is, it is a, satanic, a, satanic, uh, 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 a satanic empire. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 13, the beginning of his words is, uh, of his mouth is foolishness and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. When you just sit and you listen to what they say, what their reasons or what their reasoning is for doing what they do, and you understand, but and you also see how they deal with what they went through and what happened with them, you understand that it's actually it's actually foolishness, you know, it's it's madness, for for dealing with something in that way. But then again, we understand because. They are not being guided by the Heavenly Father. What does the scripture say? Let's first get this one, man. They're not being guided. Ooh, let's get this. Let's get that, man. Boom, let's get this, man. In um, Sirach 20. <coughs> Sirach 20. Mm. The book of Sirach, chapter 20. Boom. Okay, verse uh, 32. Necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. So, the patience in looking for Yahweh Bashim Yashai is better than he that lives a life without being guided by the Most High. And there are a lot of people in this society, in this empire, on this earth today that are living a life without being guided by the Holy Spirit, by the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High. And that's why they do these type of things. So it is our duty to correct, to inform, uh, uh, to instruct, or to mention as well for what, what the Lord is going to do with those that remain walking in this path, how the Lord is going to judge them. 
It says in the book of uh, Sirach 42 verse, uh, verse 8, Be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish which we do. We, un we, we inform them, you know. The scripture says, answer a fool. Uh, uh, sometimes you don't answer a fool on or unless you will be deemed equal unto a fool. But sometimes you got to open up your mouth and mention things onto a, onto a fool or, or onto a scorner just to, to make a point and then let a person let a person go, dismiss somebody as well. It says in the extreme age that contend with those that are young because a person that is very old has seen uh, the world spiritually but mainly carnally, especially if they have not been raised and knew about this truth. But a person like a person like that that is very old, grey haired, and that has walked the earth for quite some time, standing in front of a young man, and this young man might have been in this truth for for uh, um, uh, six, seven years or something. When that young man will give uh, an older man, extreme age in this case, answers based on the script, they will not they will not easily accept the answers because they think that they know more than that young man. You know, new wine. The, the new wine will not be entering into into old bottles. An old bottle is like is a, is a is a parable, a symbolic speech referring to an old person. And the new wine, the new wine is actually the the new song. You know, the the understanding of what truly is written in the Bible, the obtaining of it, and the 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 receiving and the walking in it. You know, so an adult of an an age, an extreme age person will most likely um, content, go up against, speak against what a young man might want to give onto, onto an extreme age person. <coughs> it says, Tosh shall be truly learned and approved of all men living. So, we have to tell these people all these things, man, even though many of them will go up against you, many of them will not believe you, many will, you know, they might even, they might even speak evil, about those young men doing the thing of the Most High because they have been conditionized by the ways of this world. So many people will also be in a spirit like, yeah, but God is love, right? And does not God love everybody? God loves everything and everybody. So also this man that is doing this and you or you cannot judge because you are judgmental and God hates a man that judges. Like people are on a level of not understanding what truly is written in the Bible. Because they have been programmed by the carnal perception, the carnal understanding of what is taking place on this earth. It is a satanic custom, it is a, it is a satanic concept to, to accept and to love everything in the name of, of love. There's balance with the most. High. Let's get that, man. Let me, let me first bring this out. In the book of seven, uh, Proverbs 17, verse 15, He that justified the wicked... And he that condemned the just, even they are an abomination to the Lord. So there's balance with the Most High. There are things which are being deemed wicked in the eyes of the Most High. The Lord is not looking down upon this earth. And, and when wickedness, when, when cruel things are taking place upon this earth, cruel or unrighteous atrocities being committed upon this earth, that the Heavenly Father looks down and is like, I love that, I love that. Or I love that one over there that is slaying and killing people. No. The Lord, the Lord is against the wicked, but He loves the righteous. He loves those that are walking in in His in His in His most just words. He loves those that are correcting and instructing the people in the way of the Most High. That is what He loves. But He is against lawlessness because a person that is lawless does not want to does not wants to submit him him or herself unto the almighty power that deserves the respect. He needs to be respected and he needs to be honored. He needs to be exalted. We need to humble and lower ourselves and submit ourselves unto the ways, the guidance of the Heavenly Father. And the system is teaching completely contrary. Don't submit unto the Most High. Don't believe in God. Deem yourself the almighty God. Do whatever you want. YOLO. Nobody can tell you anything. And then as they walk upon that road of doing whatever they want, having no respect towards the Most High, they make statements like, only God can judge me. Only God can judge me. While you disrespect the Most High in all your actions, and then you want, then you want to lay down or put your, put, put, have some, some, some rest or comfort in the fact that after you have been 
lawless and rebellious the, the adversary, the enemy onto the Most High, you think that you with confidence can step towards the Most High and think that the way how the Lord will judge you will be cute or sweet. That, <laughs> man, that's why people don't understand what is going to happen, man. It says, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. So let me, let's go into the meaning of the word abomination. <laughs> Strong's H eighty four forty one. To Eva. Mm -hmm. To Eva. It says in a, a disgusting thing, abomination, abominable. That's what it says in ethical sense of wickedness. This this is how the Lord views it, man. And one might say like, yeah, but, 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 and the people always love to come with the but, 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 but. there are no buts. We just have to respect and, and and pay value onto what the Lord is explaining. No but. Sirach 15 and 13. The Lord hated all abomination and they that fear the Most High love it not. The Most High hates these things and if you truly love the Most High, you will also have that same mind. You know? Your spirit needs to be vehemently against this. If this is already being deemed acceptable, being pushed normalized you know what where man how would the world look like if this would continue man that's why we continually say we need to get the hell out of here this place needs to be taken down because if this continues i mentioned i think it was i mentioned this multiple times during camp i say the thing that is going to happen is you're going to have music clips, you're going to have rappers, you're going to have pop stars and all those other things. The thing that you're going to see, you're going to see more the pushing of transformers and clips, dancing, showing themselves. And the people that watch these things, their mind, their mind is actually being conditionized, the desensitization, desensitization of the mind, which means... It will be shown so much times in your face that you 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 will you will become um, numb to the fact of of the of the things that they push towards you, the poison that is being pushed towards you. So you will you will deem those things as as normal. Like this is this is life today. Like this is how this is how things are today upon the earth. You know, and we should never we should never become we should never get into a mindset of 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 uh, um, becoming becoming comforted or becoming becoming joined onto this wicked world. You know, we always need to be separated. We always gotta have that edge. We always gotta be sorted upon the Lord, and we always gotta call and cry to the heavenly Father to to deliver us out of this hell because this is a, this is a nightmare, man. This is this is a nightmare to 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 be surrounded by the things that is deemed abominable in the eyes you respect the lord you about you you deem these things also an abomination but yet the whole society and the people around you on this earth is being programmed to stare and to believe and to think that this is acceptable and that you got to respect it and that if if there is a fight and they start fight with you and then you defend yourself and you beat one that when you do something it's a hate crime but when they do something towards you it is not a hate crime like this this is this is insane the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 22 and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be safe but for the elect which is the which is the small remnant among the children of israel's sake those days shall be shortened so if the lord didn't shorten the days trying to imagine how this planet would be if it would continue that's why the lord said he's going to establish a new heaven and a new earth revelation 21 verse 1 and i saw a new heaven and a new earth which is the rejuvenation the re-establishment of everything on this earth a new empire a new kingdom thy kingdom shall come the righteous kingdom established upon this earth for the first heaven and the, and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea this wicked empire is going down and the heavenly father is going to re-establish the planet 
And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, which is a people before it is a place. So it's talking about the re-establishment, the rebuilding of our people. You know, in the first fruits, it's talking about the elect, the 144,000, the one-third uh, 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 multitude that is scattered all over the globe that is coming back. And that is doing exactly what the Most I commanded them to do. They are predestinated to be saved and they are the... They are the first fruits from, for, for the establishment of the righteous kingdom. Coming down from the Most High of Heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a voice of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. So the men being called, but the women being also being called them to walk to, to be shaped and to fulfill their purpose in righteousness in the eyes of the Most High. But the men, the men are on the front line on the battlefield. Uh, uh, warring against uh, the dark forces and building up building up the men you got women women can also build up other sisters in in the righteous mind in a righteous conduct towards their husband and towards the children and amongst amongst each other as, as as sisters as the daughters of zion and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and the most time himself shall be with them and be their power you see that's the kingdom man and the most that shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things have passed away. Yeah, because you gotta understand, man. We 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 are in pain. You you are afflicted when you see the normalization of these things that are hateful in the eyes of the most high. It it is a it is a, it is it is pain, it is it is a, it is pressing upon your mind. It is it is hell to see how your people are being molded into the things which the heavenly father doesn't want you to be it is it is hell to see how when you correct your people and show them the answers that you got you got huge amount of people going up against you thinking that you are wrong and that you are evil the only the only beauty is is that when you have a small amount of brothers and sisters taking heed and and uh, showing gratitude for 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 us being a vessel used by the Most High in in the restoring of of us as a nation, man, for showing for showing the dangers, for opening up their eyes concerning the things that is taking place and how you perform your love towards the people of the Most High. That is that is the that is a beautiful thing, man. You know, to labor for the Lord, to labor for the Lord. The scripture says the harvest is the harvest is plenty, but the labors are few. There are not many men, and there are not many uh, upright, sincere sisters doing what what they are supposed to do, you know. But we do what we do, and we got joy in doing it, man. You know. So hey, this is what I quickly wanted to bring out. We really need to get out of here. Babylon is going down, and we entering into our kingdom pretty soon, man. Shalom.